Greetings grapplers, welcome to Judo for Jiu Jitsu. My name is Larry Keith and this is Brian Powers. And in this video we're going to be showing three arm lock variations that you can set up from combining Munagadame and Kazura Kesagadame. Okay, so we're going to start with Brian's head pointing towards the camera. I'm going to be in a Munich out of a position. So chest hold. So I'm here. I've got my elbow connected to my knee, other knee connected to Brian's hip. I've got a nice gable grip, underhook, head control, right? Doing a cross face here to him. It's a very difficult position for him to uh, deal with, right? Now I'm also making pressure on his chest and diaphragm. Now when I switch to the Kazura Kesa, I cup his shoulder, I collect his arm, and I post on my left leg, and I slide my knee. I trace his body line right here. So we go here, I trace this. Now you can go with a bent knee or a straight leg. You see it done either way. I feel more mobile here. You just have to be a little more diligent with making sure that your knee is staying up underneath. Straight leg kind of keeps, keeps the knee under the shoulder. That's why some people will prefer it. So we're here like this, nice and heavy. Now what's gonna happen is there's a couple different things that Brian might do with his free arm. His free arm, he will either frame or he'll hug, or he'll frame and push. Try to push me away. So either one of those reactions, we're gonna do an arm bar uh, attack to, uh, to counter it. So let's turn this way just a little bit. So first one is if he frames. So I'm always looking for this. If the guy frames, I come up and I grab his wrist. This hand is already in place. Now I switch my legs and come up to the moon and me and catch my upward Udagarami. So from here, my back side of my arm is against his neck. I've got the figure four grip. I slide his elbow down towards his own hip and then off the throttle, I roll his pinky towards the floor and elevate his elbow just a little bit for the submission. Okay, so that's arm lock number one. Number two is if he elects not to frame and he just continues to hug. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll just switch from here up to the mune, keep my head low so that he doesn't frame and start to shrimp. I keep my head low and I pull him up onto his side. Control his head. I step over around, grab the belt. Let's turn this a little bit. I grab the belt. I keep my knee between my arm and his arm. Turn, sit, and take it. So that's arm lock number two. Arm lock number three is when we're in our Kazura Kessa and he decides that he's going to frame and push against me. So from here, he may be trying to set up a numerous, you know, different types of escapes. So as he's pushing, I grab his wrist and I pull in the direction he's pushing. I go with the, his push and I add to it. So he pushes, I pull, I sit out, I, I point his thumb down, his elbows up. And from right here, as I lift up and I push down, we have Waki Gadame. So this is armpit hold. So we'll go through those three one more time. Kazuri Kesa, we're here, he frames, I catch his wrist, I come up, catch the figure four, throttle off, slide the elbow down, elevate the elbow, get the tap. Arm lock number two, he doesn't frame, he just hugs. He's not, he's not gonna give me that arm, so I come up, I pull him up, big step, pivot, arm lock. I like to hold on to the belt through the duration of the arm lock, so that he doesn't hitchhike or escape away from me. Number three. While I'm here, he reaches for my collar, or he's just framing really hard and overcommits that arm. Grab his wrist, extend, roll him. So he's almost going belly down. If he goes belly down, that's fine too. I'm sitting on the backside of his elbow with my armpit. His thumb is pointed down. That means his elbow is pointed up. All I have to do is lift a little bit and then pressure down with my body on the back side of his arm. So that is uh, using two pins, uh, Kazure Kesagatame, or Kazure Kesagatame, as I was taught to say it, and Munegatame. Um, so that's a modified scarf hold and the chest hold in combination, right? Those are a great pair of pins to use in combination regardless. Um, whether you're setting up submissions or just trying to exhaust your opponent um, or in judo if you just want to maintain a pin. So, um, great for setting up those three arm locks because 
the guy has a free arm, your opponent has a free arm, and he's going to try to do something with it most likely. If you are aware of the route, the routes that is uh, available to him, you can set those traps for him. Thank you for watching this video. If you find value in it, please be sure to give us a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the notification tab so you don't miss any future videos. And remember, when you learn a technique, you know one technique. When you learn a concept, you know a thousand techniques. So until next time, we'll see you on the flip side.